Okay, here we go. It's time for Operation 006B. Um, now you may be wondering why I was kind of not in the go to the next operation screen. Um, it's basically because I had to do this chapter twice. Because I kind of died. Um, and considering that my, my goal in this entire game was I'm not going to die... Um, that, that I wasn't going to allow that one. There is one death which I have allowed, because it, it, it's in one of the most evil moments of the game. Um, but this one, I was just like, nope, I will not accept it, I will do better than that. And so, that, 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 that explains that one, but... Thank God we saved Blue. Although, hopefully the Virgin Victory doesn't get taken down in the meantime. You remind me of myself at your age, Blue. Reckless, hot-headed, knows more than anyone. Dude, you risked a shit for me. Some of you are more high-maintenance than others. Look, I'm putting my life on the line out there. You expect me to listen to some wuss teacher playing dress-up after all I've lost? Playing dress-up? You're not the only one who's lost family in this war, Blue. Huh? I can still close my eyes and see Red's father being gunned down. I was there, you know, 20 years ago. So, we actually get to play as uh, Nelson, although here he is, Wonder Red. So, Wonder Red Emeritus, I should add the Emeritus to his title because uh, the Emeritus means that he's retired, so retired Wonder Red, essentially. Um, he, he's a bit more difficult to play with than the other wonderful ones because his attack is rather slow. I mean, basically he's got a drill, um, which isn't the best thing in the world. But, oh look, it's um, Arthur Wedgwood and a very, very young Will Wedgwood. What? Your boy snuck on board again? Will's still a big fan of jets and guns, I see. I'm bigger than you think! The enemy strike destroyed the missile guidance system. I've already evacuated the crew. Who is it? Get my boy to safety. I have to say, I'm in love with the fact that it's Clover Kindergarten. It's just like, oh, Clover Stay reference. Is the only chance I have of getting this done. Now, quick, into an escape pod with you. No, Dad, I'm not leaving you. Will, get him out of here, Arthur. You can finally owe me one for a change. Don't be a fool, Larry. Even your sentinel suit won't withstand that blast wave. This is my job. Arthur! Where are you 
<laughs> what? Did you watch your daddy die? Want revenge? <laughs> And now we have to fight Lambo as Wonder Red and Mauritius. And it also we, we get to see, well we, we've seen what happened to Red's dad, which is awful. Um, now Young Will is uh, voiced by Debbie Derryberry, I believe, um, who is the same voice actress as Lucas, so I believe I have already covered her and what other role she's been in, but uh, if not, I will leave it for another day. Now, the best way that you're going to get through this fight is by trying to get as many of the uh, Dogus as you can under your control, because the bigger Unite Drill you make, the more damage you're going to be able to cause Lambo, and the quicker you're going to be done with this mess. Not can't say I'm a really a fan of this section because the Unite Drill is really, really weird to use after kind of everything else that we've used. I mean I'll say it, it's got the combo potential sort of of uh, Unite Claw with kind of beating down an enemy's kind of guard. But on the whole, um, it's it's got the speed of like hammer, almost, which is not the best thing to have to face and put up with. Put up with. Also, for some bizarre reason, I can never seem to get Unite Drill to come out properly here. Um, I think it's literally just because I am not spiraling at all. I, I'm kind of drawing a circle and thinking it's a spiral when it's not. Um, but either way... Thankfully, kind of, once you get this fight done, um, it, it's not that bad in the grand scheme of things, it's just a bit weird, um, control-wise. But plot-wise, it's very, very, very important because obviously it, it's a very important backstory for Will, or Wonder Red, as we should probably call him. Got to keep that secret identity secret, you know. And thankfully, Lambo is almost dead again. Um, although, as you will see, he's actually got both of his legs at this point in time, um, which he loses come the time that we met him in the present. So it, it's, it's nice little touches like that, which kind of add even further character to a game that is already chock full of really awesome characters with lots of little details about them. Um, so it's great that kind of that they went so far as to kind of have that there, particularly because we're, we may be about to see the reason why Lambo's missing a leg come the present. Also, look at the old Peace Star; it's awesome. It's like an old TV screen, which is just great. So that missile might be the reason that his leg is gone, but I will shut up now because sad stuff is happening. You have to go on alone. This is it for me. Arthur. Nelson. 
Our future's in your hands. Take care. See, I told you the plot got serious at this point. He lost his dad. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, my costume comrades, our play date is at an end. But don't worry, you can still play with my toys. And now it's time for another of the wonderful 101's, unfortunately slightly prolonged, unique gameplay segments. So we get to control the version victory and it's it's basically kind of a shmup. Um, and it really is, it, it's paying great homage to all shmups that have, have been, um, although even here the power of the Unite Morph is capable of being used, even if you may not quite realise that that's the case. Um, and in fact, you are going to want to use your Unite Morphs for all their worth in here, otherwise you are going to struggle, and you are going to die. Because this segment is very long, and unless you kind of make sure to take really good care of your health, um, you are going to lose it very rapidly if you don't watch yourself. And because you can't use items to heal yourself here, death is very possible, as it happened to me. 
which was a, a pain in the bum. So I was like right near the end as well. And I was just like, why? Why do this to me, game? Why make me suffer? Because literally this segment is basically the rest of this part. That That's how long this single mission is. Um... As an idea, it's great, because it is rather fun and unique, but unfortunately, kind of, it doesn't scroll fast enough to kind of keep itself fun and hip. Um, it, it's just a smidge too slow. And also, kind of, if you're in the top left hand of the screen, then it's basically impossible to see what's going on in the bottom right half, which can really heavily screw you over if you aren't on the ball. Now I'm dodging these guys, but I'm pretty sure you can kill them by using Unite Morphs, um, and really that you're going to want to use them with all you've got. Unite Sword is probably the most helpful to you. Um, because it's got that move, which has got pretty damn good range. And basically none of the other kind of none of the enemies you're going to face really cause you that much grief if you got the sword out. Because if there's a laser sent at you you can reflect it. Um but also it kind of stabs in quite nicely. Now destroying these things and the pillars that rise up is particularly helpful to you and kind of integral to not taking ridiculous amounts of damage because if you get hit by one of these pillars they hurt a lot. So kind of destroying them means that you aren't going to risk kind of get, getting damaged by them. Um, if anything I think it's probably one of the bigger criticisms I will lend segments like this is that you do receive far too much damage from getting hit once and it makes these a lot harder than they really need to be because that my god some of these are a pain it doesn't happen that much but it's still in like really painful to get hit so much when you've not really messed up that messed up at all really you got hit once and then suddenly like almost a quarter of your health bar is gone now this is the point where you're going to have to remember your Unite Morph's unique skills Particularly Unite Hammer. If you have Unite Hammer out, these things can't hurt you. If you don't have Unite Hammer out and you get hit, you are going to be in a world of pain. Because these things hit ridiculously hard. Like, seriously, ridiculously hard. I've, I've... There is only kind of one moment of worse of damage infliction that I have seen in this game and that's right at the end but I will point out that as with uh, the Dakar section of uh, Operation 005 um, this particular segment also has a um, bottle cap attached to it and uh, I'm just double checking the facts of that bottle cap um, because it, I mean, it's very similar in that it's kill X amount of enemies during the section um, but it, it's a different number also that bottle cap right there is um, for sending it like a hundred kilometers 
Um, which I think is just doing a, a full un Unite Morph. It's like using a hundred... Oh, no, it can't be using a hundred wonderfuls. I think if you just do a really, really, really big Unite Morph that uses up all your wonderful ones in this section, you will get it. Um, I think that, that works for that one. So the bottle cap that is specifically associated with this segment is um, called Shmup to No Good. And basically, you've got to complete this mission um, while destroying 170 enemies, which really isn't that difficult. Um, basically, as long as you keep kind of stabbing and killing things, you're very likely to kill 170 enemies. And um, last but not least, there is probably one last kind of basic thing that I need to say about this mission, um, and that is that you've probably seen some coloured boxes appear throughout the level, um, a red box and a blue box. Um, those basically control your shot type. So the red box is basically this kind of rapid fire, smaller shot that you get more of as you uh, build up. However, you can kind of pick up the blue box, which is kind of like a, a laser move, but it's, it's slower, if more powerful. I honestly find that it is better to go with the smaller shot type, because it just works better. Irritatingly, kind of, if you kind of mess up, as tends to happen in a lot of shmups, uh, and you lose your current shot type, um, this can be a bit more painful. Um, but when you get this particular multi-shot thing, or to like it's one of its highest forms, it's just an absolute godsend, really. Because you've basically got shots coming out of every direction, and they're really blooming awesome. Also, <laughs> that was just, in general, really stupid of me. And that's how much those things hurt if you get hit. That is seriously why it's just like, do not, I repeat, do not get hit by those. Because it will just cause you more grief from uh, getting through the rest of the level. I mean, I can't say that kind of this particular segment is much fun. Because as you can see, you've got to uh, use Unite Bomb to get in here and also to get out. However, because the camera moves so slowly, it's kind of very difficult to uh, see what the hell's going on. So it's very easy to get damaged by that thing. Very, very, very easy to get damaged. I do think it's rather mean, that thing. And then shortly returning to the Schmuck's No Good bottle cap, as you saw I unlocked it earlier. Now, kind of, it, obviously it's in that case it's unlike the uh, Dakar stage, which requires you to kind of beat the main chunk of the mission before you unlock it um, because there are only 50 enemies in there um, this segment has got so many enemies that you are likely to unlock it before you've even gotten like halfway through and if you have got halfway through and it hasn't given you anything then you're still fine because there's a ridiculous amount of enemies to defeat And finally, it's time for us to put the hurt on Vision. Now, the Odarko here is really, really, really easy. I mean, as you can see, it's going down 
very, very, very quickly. And if you kind of spam that uh, attack button, as well as making use of your Unite Morphs, then really you're going to get through this fight e so easily. To be perfectly honest, it's the rest of the, l the mission that is difficult, not this fight. Although having said that, you've still got the rest of the level to go after this. Yes, there is even more to this level than just the two sections we faced, which is a bit mean if I'm honest, but still, in, the main problem that I have with this is that it means that you, if ever you replay this mission, you have to go through that sort of, you have to face that kind of half an hour chunk to get to play this level at all. Um, but either way, take this vision. Impossible. You are to become the Greater Galactic Coalition. What? And so the evil Eldritch Fourth is dead. Oh yeah. My dear Blue, did I just see you cooperate? You, the charge first, plan later, lone wolf? Are you feeling quite well? A fever, perhaps? No, just a big French headache. <clears throat> so, uh, Morda. Nice work back there. Huh? We're, uh, you know, our thing is teamwork. You work for the group, never against it. You feel me? Blue, I... Hey, one more thing. I want you guys to deck me. Hard. I deserve it. Pardon? Don't worry about the pardon. Let's just say I need a wake-up call. No holding back, okay? But, but, Blue... Such violence! No, this I cannot be doing. And yellow might break a nail. <laughs> I think this shows spirit, does it not? In fact, it presents an opportunity for which I have long waited. Now, Chester, chin up! Hands behind your back! Teeth clenched! Gah. Wait, Monsieur Green. As leader, I relieve the team of this request. I take it upon myself. It was to be my pleasure. Go for it, Red. If you pull your punch, I'll know. Now you can pull your punch and get a little funny scene, but just go for the really massive Unite Hand and deck him hard. Oh. Jeez, bro. Could have pulled a little. Uh, that was uh, very impressive, Red. A beauty unparalleled. Sorry to steal your moment, Monsieur Green. I'm sure you'll get your chance. Oh, no, no, no. It was your prerogative, of course. I dare say I could do no better. <laughs> and please, call me Green, Monsieur Rouge. Enough chit chat. Wonderful 100, move out. You bet, boss. Indeed. Uh, men. <laughs> also indeed, then women are also a mystery as well. But either way, let's continue with our mission. Let's go.